Totsies. That is kind of interesting. I guess that sort of is uh, taking up the slot that previously people filled with stuff like Overmaster mm -hmm. or additional permission. Yeah, it has uh, doesn't have too many in, too much in the way of like hard tutors. As for brainstorm, for ponder, for prudent, uh, to help uh, pull the deck together. Also, the real tutor is Burning Wish. It can get a copy of Show and Tell. Yeah, that's that's a pretty big deal. Uh, Justin Adams, his miracles list, uh, pretty standard run of the mill stuff. He has, he has added a Detention Sphere and a Supreme Verdict to the deck, mm -hmm. diversifying his removal a little, but those aren't especially different from the options he already had. Supreme Verdict is a nice one, but I'm not sure it's an upgrade on Terminus when you're actually like so heavily oriented on top anyway. Uh, but having access to one is probably nice. Amusingly, Justin did make a register his Jace, the Mind Sculptor as Jace the, which is pretty much as short as you can go and still be... Yeah, still be... <laughs> still be definitely yeah. like, that's Jace the Mind Sculptor. You, you registered the correct Jace. Jace comma? Yeah, not, uh, not Justin Adams, enough. very relieved that there is not Jace the memory adept. Yeah, that would be that would have been Jace bad news the for architect, Sam I thought. in this tournament. Uh, Justin's sideboard is a ton of singletons, which go oh, with his... Okay. Uh, he's got uh, an enlightened tutor in the sideboard. But yeah. 13 singletons. He's got a lot of them. Uh, they're mostly targets for enlightened tutor. He's got a variety of artifacts that do a lot of similar stuff, like Crypt and Graph Digger's Cage. And Mountain. Yeah, Moat Humility, Porphyry Nodes, uh, Rest in Peace is a nice card. Yeah. He does have a Mountain to go with his two Power Blast and a Red Elemental Blast. Uh, I assume so those that's are mostly kind of for mirrors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Doesn't really count as a as a one-off. Yeah, that's that's fair. We'll we'll have to take that one away from him. And Mountain, that's barely even a card. It casts almost exclusively red spells. Yeah, sometimes you can tap it for a colorless. If you're lucky, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only, only if you're lucky. Maybe to cast a Snapcaster Mage? Ah, oh, dreams. Well, uh, I imagine we'll be seeing the Pyro Blast and Red Elemental Blast come in in this matchup. I don't know that we'll be seeing the Mountain without any real reason to need another red source. It's not like his right. Volcanic's going to get wastelanded. Yeah, it's a, He's when probably you, fine. For something like uh, Rug Delver or Merfolk, when you want the Red Blast in, you want to get a basic. Yep. Uh, you don't want to get wasteland wastelanded completely off of, out of your uh, your splash cards. Yep. All right. So uh, the best card in the Miracles deck on turn one uh, for Justin Adams. Uh, Sensei's Divining Top. Sam declines to force. Yep. Uh, should uh, basically what Sensei's Top lets you do is your miracles in the in Legacy are not that miraculous. <laughs> you kind of you kind of know when they're coming. Yeah, that's that's very accurate. Uh, I think Sensei's Divine Top is actually one of the cards that you... I, I, I'm surprised Sam didn't consider forcing it in that position. Yeah. It really is the card that pulls everything together. If you don't have an active top out, your deck is way less impressive. Yes. And that's that was even true before Miracles. Were card, uh, yep. I played quite a bit of Counterbalance decks. I uh, recall. Well, <laughs> uh, and basically, I... Part of my love of Trinket Mage is because you get to play more tops mm -hmm. than you're allowed to. Uh, it's very important to have a top to play. I'm willing to pay four mana for one. And this top has found lands and swords, which are, you know, okay. Are uh, the lands much better than the swords? Yes. Uh, swords of Plasher is not a, not a good way to fight uh, a Gristlebrand. Justin is, uh, it looks like, uh, on no permission in his hand, or maybe one? No, I, I saw a counter spell. I saw, okay, he has a, oh, one of the uh, Jace versus counter counters. I know he has Click and Jace, which are, Click is an excellent card. Click, against Vanilla and Click is probably the best card. Uh, it's, it's close. Uh, it's it's very good Yeah. against uh, Omnitel. Like, you can cast a show and tell. Uh, you can allow your opponent to cast a show and tell and try and get one of the uh, show and tellable cards into play. Mm -hmm. Uh, here comes Thoughtseize from uh, Sam. So that's uh, that's his major change. I like that. Yeah, it's certainly going to be pretty good here. Uh, I mean, card I don't like too much uh, in the in these decks is uh, Daze. Uh, I think Daze is uh, very, very poor uh, in these types of decks because you want to be able to go off at your leisure and not just when your opponent is tapped out. I find it interesting that Justin went for Thoughtseize here. I kind of would want to hold the Thoughtseize for... Next turn, so I could go end of turn intuition, untap Thoughtseize, show and tell, right? Like, um, he only has omniscience, but 
against this matchup, like his opponent's not going to get any value off the show and tell either. So just getting an omniscience in the play yeah. is pretty good. The the one card that uh, is actually becoming more popular in Miracles is uh, Oblivion Ring slash Detention Sphere. Okay, so that's, that's reasonable to fear. Yeah, that's that's a reasonable fear. You you probably want to. If I'm Sam, I kind of want my thoughts is to resolve, even if it's just so I know what's go coming up. Sure. The issue I, I see there is with top on the field, it's really hard yeah, for you to hard actually, to, yeah, actually get an effective going, thoughts yeah. is, unless it's the turn you're going for it. Yeah. And even then. It, yeah, even then, like, Dusty could literally float a uh, detention sphere on the top of his mm -hmm. deck, and, uh, Sam, like, Sam would always get his uh, omniscience oblivion ring. Preordain results. So, Looks like a magic card and an ancient tomb. Yeah, it was something shiny. Right. Goes the bottom. People in foil in their foil cards. Another force of will. So Sam is definitely got uh, just covered on permission. Yeah, if he draws something to actually threaten his opponent, he might be able to turn those. And he has those uh, the perfect. Uh, Perfect force of will pitch bay, uh, days. <laughs> yeah. That is one of the things days has going for it. Yeah. Being blue. Right. That's uh yeah my high high praise when you uh you're primarily on force of will pitch duty. I'm sure that's your favorite role for days to fill. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, I'm not a fan of uh, days and and legacy. Try not to play it. Only, only in decks that absolutely need it. So, it's actually interesting that based on uh, Sam's uh, mana base, uh, Justin could reasonably still conceive that, uh, and actually very likely that Sam is still uh, playing uh, a storm deck of some yeah, sort. Yeah, that's what I would be assuming if I were Justin. Yeah. You see pre Justin, you see Thoughtseize. The cat's not like out of the bag yet. Yeah, uh, it might it might come out of the bag with uh, Vendelian Click. I believe Vendelian Click is the type of card that should be uh, Force of Will. Yeah, I think the biggest issue here with the Click is actually not the disruptive threat element, but just the threat element. Like the, having a three one on the board. Yeah, three one. When you're not doing anything, it's real bad for you. Nope. So uh, yeah. everybody tries to get a peek. Nobody gets one. <laughs> yeah. So that was an end step, Vendelian Click. Uh, yep, trying to clear the way for Jace, the Mind Sculptor. It's a miracle. It is It is quite a miracle. Uh, it looks like Justin allowed himself to draw his swords. I think I saw it in his hand. Okay. So, uh, what's going on here? Uh, here comes Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Sculpting minds here, boss. That's probably not going to resolve. Sam has to fight it, right? Um, I just don't think you can let a Jason play on this position. Yeah, the problem with that is, uh, which do you pitch? Do you pitch your omniscience or your intuition? I feel like if our plan was intuition, we would just be doing that this turn. So I've probably pitched the omniscience. Alright. He hasn't decided which one he wants to. He's going yeah. to pitch the omniscience. Right now, we need to draw a pretty specific card in order to do much of anything. And that's assuming our opponent has actual air, which... Yeah, Justin has, you know, not not great, but not you know, mm -hmm. actual air yeah. ball. So I actually would have let the Jace, Jason play. You think? Well, what's your line then? Uh, put the omniscience in play. Just intuition for yeah. show and tell and get it down. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you gives you two Emical, two Gristlebrand, and four Burning Wish uh, as draws to immediately kill your opponent, and then twelve Cantrips to find said cards. Sure. Okay. Uh, also, the Fate Seal. On Jace, not that impressive. Not when you have a bunch of fetches, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's basically a brainstorm, and I think that if, unless you unless you brick for a couple turns, um, the brain, like you you can outpace the base. Basically, your one force of will is going to be enough to beat a brainstorm, whatever brainstorm might give uh, Justin. But having said. Sam's going to intuition for uh, half of the combo and hope to draw the other half. Maybe he'll get a bunch of dazes. <laughs> <laughs> Pro probably not. Unlikely. Do you think there's any merit to going just for uh, 
like something like a cantrip here even to just try and set up or do you just uh, always if, get like show and, and tell show and tell show and in tell that or... case i would just uh not have cast the intuition yeah. if you're just going to get a brainstorm or a ponder if he had three jaces in his deck do you think going for yes. three jaces would have been a Absolutely. good one here that was what i was thinking he only has two which means he can never do that which is a tricky thing in an intuition deck uh, i'm only real reluctant to only play two of like anything especially of a unique card yeah, yeah it's it's actually very unfortunate that Sam uh, is only playing two Jace's. Jace would be fantastic here. He also only has two Emrakul and two Gristlebrand, so mm -hmm. he can well, never... Well, you can generally interchange them. Yeah, you, you can in a lot of ways, but like there are definitely situations where you'd rather have one, one or the other. Yeah. The structure of the deck means you just never get that choice. Mm -hmm. More specifically, your opponent always gets that choice, if you're intuitioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, there's only one intuition, Sure. so it's not a huge thing. It's just a oh. noteworthy point. Yeah. Ooh, Brainstorm's a real live one here. Yeah. That was among our better draws. Uh, well, we found a fetch land and, and a card we don't want and another Brainstorm. So, uh, as Brainstorms go, a success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get to run it again. Not a home run, but could be worse. We're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not drawing dead for two turns. Yeah. That, that would definitely be significantly worse. Um, basically, he should be drawing one of these cards. Oh, he's going to draw two of them. He's... what? He's, he's immediately lighting that brainstorm on fire. Yeah, which uh... Which seems really grim. Well, now we're... So, uh, reach through mist. From Sam. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, so I, the uh, the relatively poor uh, cycle of brainstorm. Yeah, I think patience would have been a yeah, real virtue the, for us there. Right, uh, a much stronger line of play would be for Sam to uh, pass the turn, draw his fetch line, crack his fetch line, then yeah. brainstorm again. I agree. Uh, now, now Sam's in just a his thing uh he's really only drawing he's got one card a turn and his opponent has access to a sensei's divining top well, and that's... they both have the same amount of action right now that's like three cards a turn almost yeah man yeah this position definitely favors justin sam has more wins in the deck but justin has so much more selection well let's talk about wins force force swords that's uh pretty strong Yeah, we're just going to sit, make our opponent do something. We'll, gr we'll grind value with top if he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And if he does, we'll counter it. Yeah, that looks like a ponder. So... City force something else? Something not good. We're shot. Apparently. <laughs> Probably wasn't a gristle brand. Probably not. I might have gone for that. Uh, true gambler. Just take the card off the top and then cast your show and tell. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gamble. So if, if Sam <laughs> actually did that, would Justin counter it? I mean, I'd have to go out and give him a hug. Yeah, right? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know what would happen. Yeah. Give, him, give him a high five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a fan of using show and tell as counter bait on occasion with this archetype. Like yeah. Sometimes it's just a pretty reasonable line to take. But uh, right, that's a burning wish. Yeah. Uh, really making uh, so that could get a living wish, but a uh, time of need for Sam. But we don't have a green mana, so nope. can't actually do that. Mm, it's uh, Justin drawing his second forcible. Oh, look at that. Hey, look what we found. Uh, given that... You've got mail. Yeah. <laughs> given that Sam does not have uh, a second blue card for his force of will, and that's all he really needs to... Yeah, he's passing. Yeah. It uh, would be pretty bold here to try. It looks like Justin also lacks a... Oh, no, he's got spell pierce. Spell pierce. pierce. So, Justin can double force, mm -hmm. which definitely gives him the leg up. 
What did we just draw here? A ponder? Or uh, that's a blue card. Yeah. That's all you want. I, I think we might have wanted to hold the ponder. Even if we do cast it, I don't think we need to cast it now, necessarily. Omniscience is also a blue card. Burning Wish can be a blue card. It could be. <laughs> oh, that's actually uh, a pretty good... Uh, that's actually an insane... Uh... It's a good one, right? Yeah. There's no way you can shuffle this and not... Is, so Sam's line's got to be show and tell, uh, pitch the pitch the force if need be. Do you think you show until this turn when you have the burning wish? I would think I would just burning wish for thought seize probably. Okay. And then try and go next turn. Yeah. Seems uh, like Sam's line. Uh, hard cast force a well. Yep. Sam, you're not going to force. <laughs> I hate to break it. Yeah. Uh, possibly feigning not having a fatty. His opponent knows that he has a show and tell in his hand, so if he feigns force of will here, then that would make his opponent think, well, his hand has to be show and tell, force of will, and blue card. That's the blue card. So just not finding a way to reset the top of his deck, so he's actually paying a mana to draw a card, almost. Oh, uh, fortunately he has six. Yeah. Looks like he's got Terminus, Swords, Forcible Spell Pierce, I believe, we uh, know Justin's um, hand. Yeah, that's going to be very unfortunate for Sam if he actually goes for it and pitches his, uh, his you know, cash show and tell. Yep. I like that. Uh, so it's going to be Forcible. It's going to be cast because he keeps the Spell Pierce up that way, and Sam's just going to force right back. Mm -hmm. Do it. And so Sam's going to get to put his <laughs> Emrakul into play. And there's a Burning Wish on top of his deck. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately for Sam, Justin has six mana and a Terminus. So he can run it standard style. We actually cast the Terminus. <laughs> he lets it resolve. All right. So his plan is going to be get another Burning Wish, or get another Show and Tell with his Burning Wish on top of his deck. Yeah. So he really wants to... The issue here is that will make him vulnerable to the spell pierce. He actually just wasn't vulnerable to a second ago. Yeah, and he really uh, appears to want that omniscience, basically. Yeah, is is what I feel. He's feeling like he has to get a full combo. Although, regardless of his uh, situation, he is not in great shape. I might put the terminus back, but that's just me. Yeah. Sam draws his Burning Wish. So Sam shows remarkable discipline and does not cast his show and tell. Oh, okay. We're spell piercing the Burning Wish. Or if Justin doesn't... Yeah, that's uh... I'm pretty sure we'll just pay two. Go yeah. to show and tell. Try it next turn. Right, that just got Justin out of, uh, Sam out of the Spell Pierce. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was going to run a show and tell into Spell Pierce this turn. Yeah, like, me too. He really had no reason to assume his opponent would be Spell Piercing him. Correct. So. It, it you had a, a nice soul yeah. read. The thing is, if this was our line, or if this was a line we were willing to take, I think I wouldn't have cast show and tell last turn anyway. I would have just kept it as a blue card for my Force of Will. Because now like we're on the exact same plan, right? Mm -hmm. Just next turn. So we could have just had that plan this turn. Uh... I guess at no point, uh... Yeah. If our hand was just show and tell, show and tell, force of will, Emrakul, omniscience, mm -hmm. I think that would be the best hand we could have. So, a little, little bit of air for, uh... How many copies Justin? of Source of Flash Airs were in that hand? At least three. Yeah. Maybe the full four, I can't really tell. We kind of blow together between Terminus and Swords. Well, since he still has two in his hand, I'm going to go with four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's a my guess. All right, so uh, I believe uh, he's gonna do he's it unless gonna do uh, it, yeah. some. Well, to be fair, he can sack six permits, <laughs> and then untap with Jason, bounce the Emrakul. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for uh, for that plan. Uh... Uh, we did, put, also we did to... put the Terminus back, right? I'm just... Yeah. I assume. Okay. Yep. There's a Snapcaster right, so Mage was as only, well. However, he tapped... Uh, he tapped beyond uh, the 
the point of Snapcaster Counterspell. Yeah, that was an error. We never need two planes open. Correct. Ever. Uh, one, one makes sense. One makes sense. One is necessary, in fact. Yes. So. Well, yeah, exact, anything but exactly one turns out to be very bad. Well, our oh. mission center's play. All right, so that's game. We're going to go for our Emrakul and try to take another turn. I actually uh, put the Gristle Brand into play first. You think? That's just me. Uh, yeah, the, well, that way you can draw seven. Oh, yeah, that's, that's very fair. Now, in response to the Gristle Brand, Justin could pop his top for Terminus now, which is yeah. exactly what you were pointing out. And right, it's gonna have a it's gonna have a force of will that yeah. it can does not need uh, just right the now the adorable percent. thing is uh, omniscience just lets him he let it resolve. Yeah, it resolves. Uh, draw seven, my friend. I think I'm drawing fourteen. I'm getting swords over here. Yeah. <laughs> draw seven, then draw seven more. No big deal. <laughs> The downsides seem low. Sam's like, man, this seems too good to be true. <laughs> I'll activate, yeah. And now he's going to pop Relic of Progenitus to remove the graveyard from the game and draw Terminus in response. He's hoping that that's going to be enough. He's hoping Sam doesn't have a Counterspell as his last card in hand. But Sam does. Um, so that's on the stack. Uh, yeah. We kind of have to pay for this uh, miracle. Yep. Yep. Here comes our payment. Uh, Force of your terminus. For free omniscient style. Yep. And Justin packs it in. All right. All right. So uh, Sam takes a game one. That's uh, a pretty tactical game. I think a couple, like, there are a few key missteps that gave each player, like, the occasional opportunity. Yeah. And then... Uh, one of the important, the one that the last one that ended up mattering the most was Justin spell piercing yep. a burning wish. Uh, I know to you, new players, do not, <laughs> as a rule, do not counter spells just to make your opponent tap mana. Yeah, unless you're planning to do something that will kill them. Yes. Uh, on your turn, if Justin was going untap kill you, then it's a very it, reasonable spell pierce. Yes. Just to limit your opponent's options. I mean, as as a rule, I'm like. Uh, it's not always correct, mm -hmm. but I'd say the vast majority of the time it is correct to only counter spells that will only use your dazes and spell pierces on when they will actually counter yeah. something. Because otherwise, even when they get to the late game and you can't use them effectively, they are still force bait, as we've noted. Mm -hmm. So having a card in your hand is valuable for that. It's also valuable just with Brainstorm to have a card you can mm -hmm. throw away and keep a different one. Yep. It's a piece of cardboard. Yep. A blue piece of cardboard, even more valuable. The presence of Brainstorm and Legacy makes uh, cards in hand strangely more valuable than cards played at times. Yeah. <laughs> it's often frequently correct to hold spells that you could cast but aren't going to generate enough value because you can turn them into something else. Yeah, especially, like, I mean, it's one thing if, if just has two spell pierces. The first yeah. one doesn't count out, the second one does. But if you're, if you're just gonna make a, your opponent tap mana for not much reason, don't cast it. You might have, you might have an opportunity later. Okay, so we were talking last round about uh, how my friend uh, Andrew Schneider uh, yep. knows very little about uh, the various fringe combo decks in Legacy. Okay. He ba he plays blue red Delver, and he basically like, all right, what do I counter? What do I counter? What do I counter? He actually, like, he might have to, like, read his opponent's card if they actually go off. I know uh, when he was in the top eight of Cincinnati recently, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that, in that Legacy Open, he eliminated Chris Anderson, whom we saw earlier yep. under the camera. That was one of his uh, things. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, Opens that he won, he defeated High Tide in the finals. Yep. He had no idea how to play against it going on, but, like, he just, like, Hey, what do I count as like every time he saw high tide? So yeah. it's like a mental shortcut for him. Sure. And he he tries to figure out he tries to simplify what he can do to win the match, basically. Yes. Uh, amusingly against Chris Anderson, he did not bring in his surgical extractions, which are one of the most powerful cards in the matchup. <laughs> because if your Cloud Fairies get surgical extracted, it's yeah, very, very difficult yeah. to win. If your words of win get surgical extracted, it's nigh impossible. <laughs> right. But lightning bolting a cloud of fairies and surgical extracting, it's like a real quick route to mm -hmm. just put your opponent way behind. Yeah, and but like it was like one of those like you have to know what's going on in order yeah. to be able to figure that kind of thing mm -hmm. out. Like, 
looking at his de looking at deckless, you know, you see that your opponent is living wish. You're like, ah, oh, well, you know, getting rid of his, all of his creatures is actually, you know, not that useful because you can just living wish and find one. Yeah, not but, anymore. You can actually only living wish for sideboard cards. No, now. no, th yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Because he keeps the Emrakul in the sideboard. Yes. Like, there's he doesn't think, you know, like, oh well, if I kill literally all six creatures with power in my yeah. opponent's oh, deck, yeah, yeah, yeah. I win the game. No, that's right. not how it works. Yeah. So, um, we're underway here. We have a Arid Mesa, Justin, and uh, a Ponder from Sam. Maybe. Yeah, we might be. Ponder's on the stack. Sam. Let's just put it that way. Um, How do you like these aggressive spell pierces on cantrips? I, I like them. I feel like uh, days and spell pierce do not get used on brainstorm often enough. I agree that I agree with that. Specifically, spell pierce on brainstorms with fetches open. Yes. Hyroblast. That's a powerful one. Powerful magic. Uh, do you like those kind of plays more or less when your opponent has mulligan? Uh, more. So do I. I think that that's something. Uh, All right, so uh, Justin had a misses his second land drop. Yeah, um, Justin kept a land light hand with a lot of permission. That's probably one of the reasons he was willing to burn his cantrip so aggressively, or sorry, his counter so aggressively. Yes, yeah, so he didn't have that much mana to spend. Yeah. And if he doesn't, he could very well find himself entering the cleanup step with a bunch of awesome cards in his hand, which is not yeah. where you want to be. We allow our opponent to have top after he missed his second and third land drops. Yeah, he I don't know has a I bunch like of permission, this. but uh, Justin's definitely going to develop uh, yeah. very stably now. If I'm Sam, I would have probably just forced that and red blasted every brainstorm my opponent cast for yeah. the rest of the game. <laughs> just keep him off being able to do anything. Yeah, looks like uh, that's all the red blasts, uh, all three of them. So uh, Sam, Sam means it against the control decks. Yep. He's, he's uh, not he messing has, around. His three red elemental blasts, another thought seize to go with his three main deck, and two defense grids. He basically does not have a sideboard outside of those cards. Uh, it, because he has a burning wish in his deck, uh, he has some, he has, I believe he has a show and tell, uh, the pedals, uh, a, pot, a grape shot, time of need. So he has five dedicated, and he has a couple more Burning Witch targets. I, I think Thoughtseize probably stays in the sideboard most of the time. Okay. I, I would rather have it in the sideboard than bring in the fourth one in most matchups. Okay. Okay, right, so, uh... I like that Red Blast. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, <laughs> strange. Uh, yeah, Counterbalance is a card that... And this is something that uh, Justice is willing to fight over, yeah. and not going to work out well for him because... Uh, being allowing a player to use their mana on counter spells on your turn is uh, it's good value in legacy. Yeah, uh, definitely a good thing for Sam because now if he uh, draws a way to combo, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to uh, wait on mana to protect it because Justin decided to use his force of will on his own turn to protect his own spell. Justin's probably hoping to be able to find lands and jam a Jace down next turn, but that's not going to work either. Sam still has Blast. Yep. Uh, blast for days. Does, what he does not have is a show and tell or a burning wish to find said show and tell. Yep. So, I'm going to uh, brainstorm for one of those, I think. Yeah, he's I deciding mean, which, uh, which land he wants to use. So, uh, Volcanic Island casts Foil Mercadian Mass Brainstorm. That's a big money uh, brainstorm. We hit a burning wish, a defense grid, and an Emrakul. I've found everything. So put back. No, don't put that back. Put back Emrakul. Yeah, yeah. Emrakul's not going to work here. Emrakul is much worse uh, when you're just showing telling it into yeah. play in this matchup specifically. Uh, if your opponent has a Caracas, you have nothing. Yep. Now, if your opponent has a Detention Sphere, you have nothing. How many lands do we have? We have four. So we don't want to put the Defense Grid down this turn and then go for Burning Wish next turn because that, that's not going to let us kill him. Mm -hmm. so, I actually would have gotten rid of the defense grid. That's what I was thinking. He, it looks like he put the Gristle Brand on top and is planning, sorry, is planning to not crack, I assume, because yeah. now both of his fatties are on top of the deck. The issue being that if Justin you know, plays Jace, he can't fetch for a Red Blast to counter, and then he can get Fate Steal, and yep. he will lose his Gristle Brand as a result. That's a Red Blast from uh, Justin. Red Blast Terminus Island. Uh, Pretty good cards. Uh, it depends on what kind of uh, 
Who wants to take? So. Uh, he has two red bless in his hand now, which is awkward because he only has a single source of red mana in his deck unless he brought in that mountain. Mm -hmm. Which, he, we, as we discussed before the game, he probably didn't. Uh, so, that's a limiting factor on his ability to counter spells. So, um. Here we Sam to. Castiel's show and tell. A. Red Blasted, and uh, Force of Will is going to counter the Red Blast. Yep. If necessary, we have a third Volcanic Island that we can search up, which will enable us to Red Blast once again. But I imagine we're just going to see a real quick and easy end to this game at this point. Uh, Terminus is not the answer you want against Chris Brain. Terminus is a fine answer against Emrakul, but... Grizzle Bizzle. Hmm. Running through Justin's head is like, why is it that one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why can't it be a 15 I mean, 15? <laughs> Just one. Been but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would also be. Let's, uh, cool. let's draw some cards if you're uh, Sam. I would have actually drawn seven on my turn. Yeah, we didn't a play land a land, yeah. yeah. So drawing seven's a free roll to hit a land. Oh, we are drawing seven, it looks like. I don't know. Oh, we're doing it in response to the Terminus. Oh, we could have hit a Wasteland. No, that's an Ancient Tomb, sorry. I missed one. I was about to say, Wasteland. why is he running Wasteland? That would be crazy. No, but yeah, that is an Ancient Tomb. Uh, I had to double check that deck list. I think there was another show and tell that, wasn't uh, it? I think so. We could have cast that, too. All right, let's, let's just let's do it again. Yeah, going for it again. Didn't hit a counter. Really wants a force of will. Or uh, three dazes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right, now he has the pedal skill uh, in his hand. Yep. So, uh, yeah, he's like, cool. Yep, I've, that guy's I've got dead. my value. Don't worry about me. I'm doing all right. Passes the turn with two mana up. Huh. Why not? I don't think it was net, uh, terribly relevant. We had... Yeah, we had everything. Had thoughts is... Or oh, defense grid, take our pick. Ancient Tomb defense grid, maybe to start it off? Yeah, sure. Keeps his opponent from casting any spell once it's in play. And because Justin's hand is Jace, Pyroblast, Red Blast, it's going to resolve. Yeah, good old 8th edition defense grid. Since it's divining top. Looking for aid. Looks like land, land, land. Nothing good can come of this. Literally the only thing uh, Justin can, could conceivably do would have been to detention sphere. Sure. The uh, whatever... Okay. That'll do it. Comes in and uh, as it comes. Didn't want to explain the burning yeah. wish combo. Yeah, I can, I can sympathize. Our opponent's yeah. been on you know, two or three lands so long. No need yeah. to no need pedals to, them out. Right. No need to dis discuss how the well, complicated. Yeah, I could have done this for you know like five to six minutes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah, a tough tough game for Justin. Yeah, I, was, I mean Sam. Looks uh, very geared to beat, beat up on the, especially yeah. post sideboard. And those thought seizers are nice. 